I'm in salad and I saw Scooby Doo. Where are you? Episode three, Hassle in the Castle. It is produced by Hanna Barbera. My previous exposure to this episode is none. So if you haven't seen this episode, I will spoil it for you. The episode starts, we're seeing all the Scooby gang, they're going boating. It's boating time and they're in the fog and they get lost and they end up in a place where they're not supposed to be. Wow, what, what a mysterious set of events that have occurred. They do end up at this uh, uh, castle that's at this island that they're at. They're like, hmm, we're gonna go into the castle. Okay, also Scooby and Shaggy, they're like, ah, scared. Super scared, but then they go through the castle and this isn't like a, a, a Scooby-Doo episode where it's just like they're all, oh yeah, we're gonna lead through the entire castle. And Scooby is the one who's slapsticky all over the place. No, everyone gets this treatment. Everyone gets booby trapped. Daphne ends up uh, falling through a bunch of traps. Fred ends up going through a bunch of doors that are like invisible doors. There's a sequence like right in the intro song of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Where we see Fred disappear. Yeah, that's from this episode. I was like, oh, hey, I've seen that before. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. But there is a mysterious man. He's a ghost. He's, ooh, spooky. I, when I saw this episode, I was like, ah, you know what? I'm quite enjoying the fact that the ghost is on the top layer above the Scooby-Doo. Oh, the Scooby Doo -do in the mystery gang, they're like above the layer, so it's animated and it's like cl clipping over the, the, the Scooby gang, which is supposed to be closer to you in foreground. Nah, doesn't matter. I, I just was like, wow, I'm so glad I was able to look at that. Also, I noticed that a lot of the blue, the, the method that they use to save on coloring, I quite appreciated, like holy diggity dang. There's a lot of blue silhouettes in cars from when they're at like a distance except for maybe Scooby-Doo is colored, but I like their silhouettes also. They have pretty much the same animation style and the the animation, you can definitely see some colored outside lines, but it's less noticeable than the last episode, I think. You can still see some of the face lines for Scooby when he's drawn, but I think it's a little bit less noticeable. Yeah, I feel like the art quality is a teensy bit better in this episode, but you know, it's still, it's still kind of messy. But honestly, I was very impressed with the animation. I also noticed that Scooby-Doo, whenever he's hopping about and he like goes off frame, that's a way to uh, save on animation budget. You just have him hop off frame, then a, f a second hold of off, of just no, nothing in that frame. It's just one background element being animated and shook around. I also noticed the shaking around as like a feature to not animate something being shaken around. If you, you just shake the camera around, that's fine. I was like, hey, that's actually really cool. That's a really good way to uh, save on animating something shaking if you just shake the camera around. You know what? That was pretty epic. But you know what? Let's go back to the mystery. You know, there's a ghost. <laughs> but of course, uh, Velma and Fred are like, hmm, I don't think it's that. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's usually not a ghost. Let's see who it is. And it turns out it's a guy. Yeah, a guy really wants this place to buy himself and honestly I, I guess he can keep it i personally wouldn't want to be on this island but he's he's always i feel like a lot of the villains especially this one is like oh i'm gonna scare people away as like some sort of tactic like that's not going to get you noticed by the cops and then you're going to get arrested for it like the why must he use fear as a tactic why I, I i don't get it but you know what it doesn't matter the guy has been caught and a cool little castle that he's got with a bunch of little uh, booby traps man is one cool castle i'd like to live in that castle honestly because then it's like oh don't step on this tile you'll fall through the floor isn't that epic oh beautiful but honestly that's the end of the episode. I feel like the level of animation is pretty much the same as the previous two animation levels. Except for the silhouette thing I just noticed. I'm like, oh, maybe the colors didn't have enough time. 
And so, uh, we get to see some blue silhouettes. And I was like, I like that! I honestly am a big fan of, uh, animation, saving, time, budget, reason, stuff. I just like noticing all of it. Of course, the animation is just as good, just as messy as the other episodes, but I hope that they do clean it up a little bit more, spend a little bit more time on it. But honestly, for me, it does not subtract from the quality of the episode. I was still quite entertained when I was watching this. I was like, oh, they're going through the castle. Oh, they're going through a bunch of trap doors. Ah, Daphne is an airhead. There's some... I see there's like a seed of some conflict between Daphne and Velma, but just a little bit. We have Daphne, I mean, we have Velma calling Daphne an airhead. I'm like, why must be you be so rude, Velma? And because of Velma's rudeness, but the overall quality, I still quite enjoyed it. I gotta give this episode a solid 6.6 .6 out of 10. If you like this review, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer, so if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. You can request a movie in the comments below, you can fast track the request, patreon.com slash Presents. $20 a month for one movie review per one month, or $3 a month for some daily vlogs, all at patreon.com slash Presents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of the channel, you can go to this link tree for some NSFW content. It really helps with the daily grindiness of the channel. And it's pretty much the only place you'll find me being very lewd. So go here, and until next time I'm inside, saw. see you later my side, Cruzons Bacon Bits.